Start to listen to the soothing tone of your breath as it enters and exits your body. And as you listen to still your mind grow clear and calm, feel your body release and relax. Let all the expression melt from your face. As you start to follow your breath down your throat, your chest, your ribs, into your abdomen, feel your breath travel down the legs from the feet and toes, out through the arms, into the hands and the fingers. Feel your breath wash every stress or tension, let it drift away. And now use this opportunity to acknowledge any injury or ailment you may have, allowing you to honor through this journey. This will keep you safe and protected. Draw your breath up over the head and down the spine. Breathe a sense of lightness and distance between the vertebrae. So yourself grow tall and your spine will grow longer. As you exhale, sink into the floor. Feel that pull of gravity that we use to stay connected to the earth, that we use as resistance. Recognize if we can move slowly through space as if we were underwater, we work against the resistance of gravity and able to use both sides of the body simultaneously. Allows us to build strength at every moment of our journey. Now walk the feet in towards the body, six feet out and open to the edge of your mat. Inhale and exhale, release one knee towards the inside of the opposite ankle. So the weight of the legs suspends through space as you feel that outer hip releasing and relaxing. Opening the joints by extending the supportive muscle groups to balance our flexibility with our strength. Slowly float that foot to the floor, the knee to the sky, inhale. Exhale the opposite knee towards the other ankle. Feel the weight of the legs suspend through space. Outer hip releases and relaxes. Remember, we open those joints. We lengthen the muscles, balancing flexibility with our strength. Again, we're underwater, so we can't just fly through space. We work slowly and gracefully, using the opposite side of the body to slow us down. Slowly lift that foot to the floor. Drag the knee to the sky. Walk the feet together. Inhale. Exhale, open both knees as you gently press the soles of the feet together, spreading both legs to gravity. Now feel the inner hips releasing and relaxing as you begin now to engage your core, the lower portion of your torso. Contract the pelvic floor. Compress the lower abdomen, pull the belly button into the spine. Now engage the glutes, tipping the hips forward, lengthening and protecting your lower back. Compress the belly into the spine, draw it in and up to the inside of the ribcage. Now reach your front lower ribs down to the hips. Continue to listen to your breath. Grow taller with each inhale. Compress your belly with each exhale. Use your core as your source of power and strength and now open your eyes. Recognize that we use our gaze with our breath to stay true to our own journey and path. That helps deepen the connection through the body with the mind. Now slowly pull the feet to the floor as you drag the knees together. Slide the hands under the knees as you draw them into the chest, relaxing the lower legs. And just rocking back and forth, massaging the muscles through the back and the hips. Now look away from the direction of the knees, initiate a spiral stretch, trying to touch each ear of the floor, finding that even balanced range of motion. Then slowly sway to stillness, slide the hands up and over the knees, draw the knees in and open. Now reach the tail and back and forth as well as the back of the shoulders. Flex the toes up to the shins and begin to draw circles with your feet through space. Point the toes, feel the arch up the bottom of the foot. Flex the ankle, feel the muscle up the side of the shin that holds that helps stabilize the knee. Circle of stillness. Begin to draw circles with your knees through space. Now make those circles larger and larger as you draw your focus to the top of the femur, rotating in the hip socket. Feel them start to loosen and release and slowly circle of stillness. Remember, we're underwater, so pull the knees together. Try to find the inner thighs. Bury the belly button into the spine. Slide the hands down the shin. Inhale, pull the forehead to the knees as you tuck the chin to the throat. Draw a deep breath to the upper back. Always know that most of the breath goes there. Release the hands. Now feel the front ribs reaching to the hips. Inhale, lift higher as the forehead reaches to the knees. Exhale, press the belly button deeper in the spine. This time, inhale, pull the knees into the forehead. Inhale, lift both forehead and knees together. Feel that lower abdomen deeper into the equation. Now slowly push those heels through imaginary water so you have to press through the space to lift the heels to the sky. Point the toes and pull the, pull the knees into the forehead. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, compress deeper. Feel the chest open as you force your breath up into the heart. Now pull your heels into the hips, but remember restrain with the, with the quads. You're using the hamstrings primarily. 
and resisting the movement with the opposite muscle group. Place the hands to the shins, hug the legs as you inhale. Exhale, slowly massage the vertebrae as you descend. Rolling on your right side and meeting on your hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide with your hands to the floor, giving you a better platform. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, slowly round the center of the back to the sky. Exhale, inhale, move to your, new, your arch. Now, continue on your own breath as you slowly work through the spine. It must be, mm. And slowly move into your neutral spine. I just have to say this. Happy Father's Day, Scott. Step the left hand forward, reach up to the right arm, look up that arm, make a fist and draw a couple circles with that wrist. Circle the seals, reach another inch beyond the fingertips as you open that palm. Spread the arm through. Lay yourself on the back of the shoulder. Walk that left side forward as you pull the front of the chest to the ground. And now keep that belly button buried. Slide that left hand down so you can release. Now remember, you're underwater, so actually pull that right arm up. Resist. What you're resisting with is the chest. You're using the back muscles to lift. Squeeze the chest. Now it's the opposite. You're squeezing with the chest and resisting with the back. Place that hand slightly forward and between the shoulders. Inhale, lift up to that left arm. Look up that arm. You can keep the palm open or make a fist. Just release that wrist. Circle of steel. Let's reach beyond the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, thread your arm through. <clears throat> Lay yourself on the back of that left shoulder. Just observe the differences in the size of the body. Walk that right arm forward so you can pull the right side of the chest close to the ground. And slide that right hand down, and enabling you to slowly drag that left arm up. Remember, you're pulling it up from gravity. Look up the arm as you inhale and squeeze the chest as you pull that arm back to the floor. Walk your hands to the front corners of the mat. Open the knees to the edge of your mat, touch your big toes together. Now, before we go into our extended child's pose, just lift the spot, uh, tailbone up to the sky and try to drive your chest straight down and just lower your chin to the floor. Now, pull the shoulder, uh, the chest to the ground, feel the stretch of the back of the shoulders. And slowly lift, slide your hands a little bit closer to the shoulders. Now pull the hips all the way back to the heels and drag your hands to open the wrists of the elbows you lower your forehead to the ground. Inhale and exhale, release your ear to the floor. This one. Inhale, you're forward to neutral, and exhale, the opposite ear of the ground. <clears throat> draw your forward to neutral. Slowly draw yourself back up under your hands and knees. Now the hands are in front of the shoulders. Remember, they don't move through a flow, technically. Walk the knees back under the hips. Bury that belly button. Squeeze that pelvic floor. Tuck the toes under. Inhale, float the knees an inch above the ground and hold. With the chest and the head. Let's just heat the core. Now slowly lift the table and stay up the sky and pull the heels into the floor. Now inner thighs open the back of the room, feet are hip distance. As we know, thank you, Andrea, about two fists in between the feet. I love that, but you can actually measure. Now soften these, but now it's deeply. Tip the tailbone higher to the sky. Now pull that tailbone as far away from the hands as you can. Imagine you're trying to touch the heart and then the face to the ground. Now drop the top of the head to the floor. Straighten through the knees and lift all the way up to the toes. Reach one heel to the floor as you bend the opposite knee and hold. Lift to the toes, opposite heel on the floor and hold. Just alternate the heels on the ground, but remember try not to rock any weight forward onto the hands. Really focus on those arches. Lower calf and on your next exhale, press both heels to the ground and again, rotate those inner thighs open. Soften knees, walk the feet up in between the hands. Feet are hip distance, heels and knees are in line. Soften the knees now. Use the hands on the ground to help you with the hips away from the heels without taking the chest off the thighs. Now imagine how the top of the head is reaching to the ground. 
and the tailbone is reaching the sky. So you're trying to open the spine parallel to the floor. Now actually rock towards the balls of the feet as you lift the tailbone higher to the sky. You want to keep the hips over the heels. Now bury that belly button, squeeze the pelvic floor, and inhale to half lift. Let the fingertips slide up the shins, pull the shoulder blades together. Now lift the chin as you rock even deeper towards the balls of the feet. Lift the hips another inch, opening the back of the legs. Inhale and exhale to send back into your Uttanasana, that forward fold. Okay, good. Like everybody's okay. Inhale, lift the hips one more inch. Exhale, soften the knees, fold the arms and the elbows and ragdolls. You nod yes. And turn your head no. Hang neutral and slowly roll up. Stack vertebra upon vertebra. Using the weight of the head and arms to stretch out your upper back and neck. And when you reach that standing position, set the feet comfortably side by side. Release and open the arms. As your weighted fingertips and toes drag through that imaginary water. There's lots of imagery going on. Pull the palms together, press the palms together, pull your hands to your heart center. Press into the chest with the hands and feel how that belly button deepens. So you take this moment to acknowledge the time you're taking for yourself, embracing any intentions that you'd like to dedicate to this journey. Again, happy Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Inhale and exhale open. Drag those weighted fingertips up, pull, really pull through space, exaggerate every inch you move through this whole journey. Inhale, exhale up and over your center. Come to the point where then you, if you to get the chest on the thighs, you may have to soften the knees. Remember over time, that'll change. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, drag weighted fingertips up as you lift up. Keep those ribs reaching the hips, but open the chest. So you're really stretching up and open. Exhale into your fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold. Step the left foot to the back of your mat. Pull the right knee over the ankle from that left heel to the crown. Stand tall. Lower that left knee, point the toes, and just sit in that left hip. Take the hands to the right knee and just sit in that hip. Reach up through the arms, inhale, lift and open to the sky. Press up, place the hands either side of that right foot, just walk that hip back for a moment. Hands come back under the shoulders. Exhale, just relax over the leg. Now we are just, just warming. So just be really easy and relax. Lift and open. He comes back over the ankle and again, sit in that left hip. Tuck the toes on to reach that heel away and feel that. Left leg open, inhale to plank. Lift the chest and the head, modify if you desire. Chaturanga, so, I mean slowly move to Chaturanga. Pull through the arms as you lift into Cobra or press through the arms into Up Dog. Rise to plank and hold, lift to Down Dog. Plant the feet open, the inner thighs, push the heels firmly to the floor. Sway the tail on side to side as wide as you can. You're trying to pull away from the palm of the hand, that heel of the hand way to stillness. Lift that left leg to the sky, rotate the thigh open. Point the toes, soften the couple of circles with those toes. Wah, 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 wah. Circle of stillness, press back to the heel, ball the foot, tip of the toe. Draw that knee, the, chest, the hips, to the chest, to the nose, foot between the hands. Remember, pick it up in place if you need to. Sink into that deep lunge. Try to get the hip level of the knee. Make sure this right knee is extended. Open the crown. Soften that right knee, lift that right foot up to lengthen that left knee, lift way out of the hip. Inhale, exhale, float that foot to the floor. Inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, drag weight of fingertips up as you lift. Out and open, inhale. Exhale, up and over your center. And to fold. Inhale to half lift. Uh -huh. Exhale to fold. Step the right foot back into your lunge. Pull that heel away. Open the hips. Gently lower that right knee and point the toes and sit in that right hip. That hip flexor that lifts the knee to the chest. Place the hand to the left, right up the thigh, right above the knee. Breathe up. 
and just open. Remember, very gently. Press up and open, hands land on either side of the left foot. Walk the hands back as you walk the hip back and just relax over this left leg for a moment. Inhale, lift and open. Slowly walk that knee back over the ankle. Walk the hands forward. Sit in that right hip. Lift and open. Tuck the toes on there. Feel that stretch coat on the front of that right leg. Inhale to plank. Pull the heels back. Modify if you desire as you hover and chaturanga and hold. Pull through the arms and up dog or lift in the cobra. No weight on the hands. Inhale. Exhale, press the plank and hold. Lift the down dog. Plant the feet, push the heels to the ground, open the inner thighs, lift to the toes. Pivot the heels to the right side, push them into the ground. Left hand on the floor, lift that hip away. Now let's stretch all the way from the hand to the, up the arm, down the side of the back. Shift up and open to the opposite side. Press the hand on the ground, lift that hip. Okay, Lift to the toes, press the heels to the ground, keep that left foot planted to the floor. Rotate that right leg, uh, left, yeah, right leg open. 50 <laughs> 50. Point the toes softly. Couple of circles with the toes. Circle still. Let's press back to that heel. Ball of the foot, tip of the toe. Knee the chest. Knee the nose. Foot to the hands. Sink into that deep lunge as you open through the crown. Remember, 90 degree angle. Open left leg. Slowly soften that knee, lift that left heel up. Remember, you have to pull it up through space to open that right leg and hip. Float that foot down. Inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, open out and up. You can reach to the sky. Inhale and exhale, up and over your center. In the fold. Inhale to half lift. And exhale to fold. Step the left foot back into your lunge. Left hand to the right end, step, you know the drill, reach out to the right arm. Now look up that arm, pull that heel back, lift the weight off the heel of that left hand, come up to the fingertips, look up that arm. Take another circle with the wrist just to release it. Circle stillness, reach up to that arm. Squeeze the chest to pull that arm back to the floor. Separate the hands, shoulder width. Inhale the plank if you like, float that right leg. You can lower that left knee. You can modify. Remember, it's all about your form. Ooh, good song. JJ, hover and chaturanga and hold. Press back up to plank and hold. Hover and hold. And lift. This is for Scott's happy Father's Day gift. He loves these. <laughs> hover and hold. Lift and open through cobra or up dog. Rise to plank and hold. Lift a down dog. Plant the right foot, lift the left leg up. Knee the chest, knee the nose, foot to the hands. Sink into that deep lunge. Right hand to the left instep. Rotate that, or no, don't rotate that foot open like I am. Reach up to that left arm, pull the hip back, the heel back. Lift the weight off the heel, that right hand. Look up the arm. If you like, make a couple circles. Circle, still and switch beyond the fingertips. Squeeze the chest, pull that arm back to the floor. Separate those hands. Inhale, plank. See if we can float that left leg. Hover and chaturanga and hold. Press back up to plank and hold. Inhale. Exhale, hover and hold. Now feel the arms that lift those elbows straight. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, hover. Lift and open through cobra or up dog. Rising through plank and holding. Lower the knees, point the toes. Press the hips back to the heels. Walk the hands to the left side, plant your right hand. And Jyasana, try to go away from that right hand. Now feel it again, the stretch from the heel of the hand, up the arm, down the side of the back. Ooh, and Lift, walk the hands to the opposite side. Plant that top hand, pull away. Walk the hands forward. Inhale to the knees. Tuck the toes under. Hover the knees above the floor. Lift the tailbone up to the sky. Straighten the knees. Lift the tailbone up. 
Press your heels to the ground. Find your breath. Inhale slowly. Reach that right leg up. Remember, slowly through space. Keep that left foot planted. Point the tips of the toes. And to that right leg, draw the knee down to the hip, to the chest, up to the chin as you open into plank. Come to the tip of the left toe and hold. Everything is in slow, slow, slow motion. Lift up. Push that left toe to the floor. Straighten through that knee. Heel, ball up the tip of the toe. Knee to the chest. To the nose. Find your right elbow. Find your right shoulder. Lift. Hold. Slowly press that left toe to the floor. Now straighten through the knee. Heel, ball up the tip of the toe. Slow and arduous so you can feel every magical moment. Knee up to the chest, to the chin. Find your left elbow. Lift and open and hold. And up. Push. Complete. Press through those tips of those toes. Knee the chest. Knee the nose. Foot to the hands. Pivot the left to the right corner. Right heel push to the ground as you rise up. Lift those arms, lift. Now reach those ribs to the hips as you open the heart, throat, and face. Now try to straighten through the elbows, press the arms open, push. And pull. Shoulder blades pull together as you interlace the fingers. Contract in the back. Pull those shoulder blades together. Feel those rhomboids between them, contract. Deep into that right knee. Reach your ribs down to the hips as you open to the sky with the heart, throat, and face. Now pull the heart forward. Bow the crown of your head to earth and humble warrior. Now lift the arms up and let the heels of the hands open. Reach your arms higher and up and over. Push that right heel to the floor as you slowly float up. Remember, the slower you move, the more muscle control it takes, less momentum. Keep those ribs down as you open. Drag waiting fingertips up. Press that right knee open, let the left hip Heel pivot wherever you need to. Now drop that tailbone down. Ooh. Stand tall, flip the palms, inhale up. Straight through that right knee as you lift. Inhale and exhale, push, push. And again, lift up, up, up. And exhale, press, open. One more time, drag up, up, up and push, reach the back ankle, drag that left arm around the hip, open the right palm. The usual, move to reverse, try to touch the same, pull the shoulder down, open that right knee, deepen, and look to that back ankle. Now you get to open that right arm. You get to let the head hang in gravity, getting that deep stretch up the side of the right neck, right side of the neck, I mean. <laughs> Basically a right and left neck, huh? Mm-hmm. Unfold that right side as you take the gaze back over it. Drag that left arm open and push down, straight into the right knee. Hinge on that hip, float the arms out. Pull the left side over the right as you look up that arm. Breathe the left arm behind the hip. Stack those shoulders, ribs, and hips. Now reach out to that right arm. Lift that left arm up and over the head. Open the arms as you inhale. Exhale out to the floor and hold. Slowly float up. Square out those hips. Drag that right arm up and find your warrior two. Lift and open to your illuminated reverse. Okay. Hmm. Inhale, look back into warrior two. Pull the left side of the body forward, pivot, which causes you to pivot on the ball of the left foot. Breathe the arms up and lift and open. See, lift to the sky. Now you want to see both hands in your peripheral and deepen. Pull the hands together as your gaze comes back to your son as we move into our prayer twist. Press into the chest as you lift up over that right hip. Tuck that left elbow to the right thigh. Now lift the chest up and then twist. Look up over that right shoulder. If you'd like, open your arms. You count on me. Drag the hands back. Remember, drag and hold. Twist deeper. Slowly come back to your center. 
Press up, push. Hands to either side of that right foot. So, so. Soften that left knee. Put that right, left heel up to open the right knee. Lift the head and the heart to the front of the room. Right hand below the knee. Left hip foot lifts higher. Left foot below the knee. I mean left hand, left paw. Mm -hmm. Lift that heel even higher. Close foot down, touch tip of the toes. Place that left foot next to right. Hang and rag as you roll up. Mm -hmm. Inhale, open. Pull the hands together to the heart center. Press into your chest. Touch tip of the left, right toes. Rotate that right leg open. Just simple Vrikshasana. Toes to the floor to the calf or lift that foot above the knee. Lift out of that left hip as you rock to the ball of that left foot, drawing the hands back into that strong position. If you like, lift the arms up. Open. See them in front of your, and above your shoulders. Lift the heart throat and face to the sky. Driving hands back to your heart. Push into your chest. Right knee center, extend, flex, and hold. Bend, press higher and hold. Bend, press higher and hold. One more time, bend, push and hold. Both that foot back, touch to the right toes. Step on that foot as you lift that left knee. Float the hand to the side, reach out to that right arm and push down. Now, see this right arm in your peripheral, it's out of that right hip, hand either stays to the left thigh or take the big left toe and extend that leg out and open. Now open that leg, the foot of the knee to the outer wall. Put that foot back to center and hold. Bend the knee, place that uh, right hand to the left thigh. Now pull the chest over the hip. Now you can hold here. If you'd like, extend that left leg and take the toe again. Good. Bend that knee once again, draw back to your center. That's kind of fun because you do it while you're in the position. Oh, hi. Extend that leg out, lift, float that foot down, step onto it. Pull the hands together to the heart center. Touch to the right toes. Now, your body is in one piece. The minute you lift your right foot, you're starting to hinge forward. The chest moves with the body as does the head. And you're modified warrior three. Body becomes parallel to the floor or you move till it comes parallel. Now reach out to the arms in your full asana. Of course, this is an option. <sighs> lift up, touch tip of the right toes. Press the hands together. Straighten the elbows and draw them behind the head. Lift the face up to the sky. Find your breath. Lift that right foot off the floor, just hold. You're standing there balanced. Now start to lift that right leg to keep the chest open and the head lifted. Bring the arms behind the hips. Imagine you're gonna clap the palms as you continuously lift that right leg. And float down, touch tip of the toes. Right foot next to the left. Inhale, open, inhale, exhale up and over your center, into your fold. Inhale to half lift, exhale to fold. <laughs> Step that left foot back into your lunge, so it's the same leg. Open that left hip, now lower that knee, point the toes. Sit in that left hip for a moment. And for our friend Gail, place that right hand side of the right foot. Gail, throw that foot to the edge of your mat. Or your mat, our mat, everyone's mat. Take that right hand back next to the right foot. Now lift that foot up, rotate, and rock that outer ankle. As I always say, make sure you keep that right ankle flexed so the stretch doesn't come in the knee, it comes from the hip. Now you get this nice big stretch in that left hip as well. Inhale, now see if you can come down to the elbows. Oh, and let your head go so you can relax. Yeah. 
Start to make your way up, back up to the hands as you keep the hips stationary. Lower that right foot, drive parallel. Heel toe that foot back in line. Walk the hands back, walk the hip back, and lift. So we build our half lift, point and flex. Push out heel forward, pull that right hip back with the kneecap. Hips come up and over the top of the legs to keep that curve in the lower back. That's what makes it a half lift. Your spine is in its integrity. So those sits, bones, and tailbone lead the hinging. Not let this lower back change its shape. Come on, baby. Inhale, lift. Now you're going to let the lower back relax. So try to keep it long. You want to get that lower abdomen to the top of the thigh if you can. That's the hinging of that hip. The knee stays extended. And then now again, just release the head. That'll help you relax. Now while you're here, just point the toes. Flex the heel, push that heel forward, and pull that hip back a little bit deeper. So your leg is open both ways. From the heel to the hip, from the hip to the heel. Open the head and the heart. Walk the knee back over the ankle, walk the hands forward. And again, sit in that left hip. Tuck the toes under, switch down the front of that leg. Inhale to plank, moving on to the right hand. Right foot or knee as you lift from that other side, look up that arm. Remember, you can always lift that top leg. Inhale, if that top leg is lifted, lower it, take that left palm and reach over the head. If you're on your knee, you can lower that foot. Reach your arm back to the sky if you inhale. Exhale to the ground, move to plank. Heels pull back, chest lifts. Walk the elbows down to the ground, keep the fingers spread. Let us stay here for a little while. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Clever, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Float that tailbone up, walk the feet in so you can get the heels close to the floor. Cover the elbows above the ground. Extend those arms, open. <clears throat> Feel that deep stretch. Ready, inhale, lift that left leg slowly up to the sky. Point the toes, grab the knee to the hip to the chest, to the nose, you come to the tip of the big right toe. Slowly, get that right heel to the floor. Float that left leg up as you open. On the main, draw the knee, the chest, to the nose, find your left elbow, find your left shoulders, you come to the tip of the big right toe. Remember, we're moving as slowly as we can, right heel to the floor, extend the right knee, our left knee, Heel, tip of the toes, slowly knee to the hip, to the chest, to that right elbow. Lift the head and the heart as you feel that twist. Slowly press up and open. The knee to the chest, to the nose, foot to the hands, pivot the right heel. Press that left heel to the floor, rise up. Drag those weighted fingertips up and deepen. Ribs reach down, lift the chest and the head. Press the arms open, push and pull. Pull the shoulder blades together. Now remember, reverse that index. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades, squeeze those round bars, extend the elbows, deepen. Lift the heart throat and face to the sky. Now the chest open with your breath. Now pull the heart forward. Start to bow the crown of your head to earth and your humble warrior. Lift the arms up. Now let the heels of the hands open. Lift a little higher. Left heel pushes the ground as you slowly float up. Drag those weighted fingertips up, deepen through the left knee. Press that left knee open and remember, let that right foot pivot if you need to. Pull the tailbone down to the ground, flip the palms, inhale, lift. Lift that left kneecap all the way as you inhale, look to the sky, and exhale, push. And up. 
And push. One more time, drag it up. Up. And press. Keep reaching and pressing. Reach the back ankle. Right arm on the hip, open the left palm, lift to your reverse. Try to touch the center, shoulder down. Look at that back ankle, open the knee and deepen. I feel that whole left side extended. And fold that left side. Drag that right arm up and push down straight to that left knee. Hinge open on that left hip. Close the arms out and open. Pull the right side deeper to the left. Just look up that arm. No weight on this left arm. But you know that. Pull that arm behind the hip on the right side. That helps stack those shoulders, ribs, and hips. If you like, left arm opens. <clears throat> if you like, bring that right arm up and over. And extend out, inhale, hold, and exhale to the ground. And slowly float up. Wah, wah. Push that arm down, drag that left arm up. Find your warrior two. Oh, my poor little rump. Reach that back ankle as you open to the sky. <clears throat> Deep into that knee. Mm -hmm. And lift. Pull the right side of that body forward and drag it through to the right toes. Now I'm gonna have to rotate my left leg open, but don't. Keep your left foot parallel. I don't know if you can see that in my feet that well, but I just have to rotate it slightly because of my romp. Lift and open the heart throat and face. My romp. That's how I have to say romp. I can't, sorry. Thank God it's being recorded. Draw the arms up. Pull the hands to your heart. Now press into your chest, feel that difference. Deep in through the knee. Lift up over that left hip. Get a little parallel, tuck that right elbow oh, to the left thigh. Now lift the chest up to the hands. Find that deep twist as you look to the sky. And if you like, open your arms. Slowly pull the hands back as you twist another inch. Slowly come back to your center. Ooh, press up, push. Hands either side of that left foot. Sink into that lunge. Soften that knee. Lift that heel up. Oh, yeah. Now lift it higher. Lift the chest and the head. Slide the left hand below the knee. Touch tip of the right fingers. Or second place, the right hand below the knee. I got this. Float those right toes down. Place the right foot next to the left. Soften that knee and slowly roll up. <laughs> Inhale, lift and open. Press the palms together and you pull your hands to your heart. <coughs> Touch tip of the left toes. Rotate open. Foot to the floor, to the calf, or lift that foot above the knee. <laughs> now draw your hands back to your heart as you lift your weight out of that right hip as you rock towards the ball of the right foot. Find that strong upper body. If you'd like, breathe the arms up and open. Lift the heart out and face the sky. And slowly draw back. Just press your hands to the heart. Draw that knee back to center. Extend, flex, and hold. Bend, press higher. Bend, press higher. One more time, bend, push, and now we hold. Both that foot back, touch tip of the left toes. Step on that left foot as you simultaneously lift that right knee. Both the hand to the thigh. Reach out to that left arm and push down. Again, see that per see your arm in your peripheral. Open, keep the hand to the thigh and open the knee. Now, if you want to try to take the big right toe, extend the leg and open it. Again, it's not how high that right leg is, it's how the hips are level and you're towards the ball of the left foot. You really crazy to think? Lift that leg back to center and release it. Place the left hand of the left thigh and pull the right 
Left hand to the right side, that's right. Right chest over the right hip. Now, if you'd like, lengthen through that. Take that toe of that right leg and try to establish this position while you're in the position. Hey! And release that toe as you come back to center. Let that knee extend. Float that foot down. Step on to draw the hands to your heart. Touch tip of the left toes. Lift in your modified warrior three. Remember the body moves in one piece. So this left leg dictates the hinging of the right hip. Reach beyond those toes. Now if you'd like, reach out through those arms. <sighs> Belly lift, touch tip of those left toes. Press the arms together, open. Lift the face. Now, lift that left foot off the, floor, off the ground. Now start to lift that left leg. Nothing else moves. Now breathe the arms open. Press them above the hips. Keep lifting that left leg. Eventually, you're going to have to tip slightly forward on that right hip. But that's eventuality. I love making up words. And flip, slowly float up. Touch tip of the toes, left foot next to the right. One, inhale up, and exhale. Up and over your hips into fold, or the top of the legs into fold. Inhale to half lift, and exhale to fold. You can't talk to me when you step the right foot back into your lunge. Sink into that deep lunge, lower that knee, point the toe, sit in that hip. Place the right hand flat to the floor. Left hand comes inside that left foot. Heel toe that foot out. Lift the toes up. Rotate that ankle. As the ankle stays flat, as you rock through that outer heel, outer foot. I just feel the differences in the hips. You're opening the outside of the left hip, front of the right. Now, if you can, descend to the elbows. That just kind of helps you relax, too. <laughs> Start to make your way back up to the hands without moving the hips. Lower that left foot to the floor. Place the left hand outside that foot as you breathe it back into line, heel toeing it. Now walk the hands back, keep them beneath the shoulders. As you lift, point and flex that left foot. Now find that tall spine. Don't move the shape of your spine. As you lift the tail and hips up and over. Boom, boom, boom. I love a good timpani, don't you? Oh. Inhale, lift. Now, let feel the hips come up. And eventually, the upper back is going to start to round. Release your head. And lift and open. Wait, ah, oh, no. Relax, sorry. Point the toes. Flex that heel. Push that heel forward. Pull that hip back. Mm -hmm. Inhale up. Walk that knee back over the ankle. Walk the hands forward and sit in that right hip. Tuck the toes under. Stretch on the top of that leg as you inhale. And then next inhale, move into plank. And then finally, move into your side plank onto the left foot or left knee. As you reach up to the sky with that right side, look up the right arm. Always know that you can lift that right leg, just keep it parallel so the outer side stays on top. And that top muscle will dominate. Now, if that top leg is lifted lower, turn the left palm, right palm to the front of the room, reach your arm over head, lift that right hip as high as you can. Bring the arm back to the sky, look up it, exhale, look to the ground as you move to plank, heels pull away. 
Lift the head and the heart. Walk the knees in. And come back to your side. Press the hips back to the heels. Walk the hands to the left side. Plant that right hand, pull away. And lift and walk your hands up and over to the opposite side. Plant that top hand, pull away. And walk forward. Lift up to the knees, walk the knees and feet together. Press the hips back, wrap your hands around the heels. Forehead touches the knees, top of the head to the floor. Lift the mid spine up and open between the shoulder blades now. We can track them all the time. Feel the breath travels to the upper back. Now imagine how your head is pushed to the ground. You have weight on it. That means that blood is not coming to that area, right? This is the whole beauty of stopping blood flow. Inhale, lift. Now slowly bring the hips down, release. Fresh oxygenated blood is shooting to that area. Dig the big brain on those yogis, huh? Lift up to the hands and knees. Walk the knees back up to the hand, uh, hips. The knees up to the hands. Place the hips to the floor. Clearly my big brain didn't catch it. Place the hands behind, uh, over the knees, tuck the chin to the throat, and roll down onto your back. Draw the knees in and open and draw those big circles. Circle still, a couple circles with the toes. Circle still, draw the knees together. Now we have two sets of obliques. We have the ones up by the rib cage, the internal. They're inside the lower part of the rib cage. External obliques are across the waistline. We've already done the internal. We do a lot of those when, our, when we move into our spinal stretches. So breathe the arms open. We're going to walk, go into the lower external oblique. But remember, we do the legs side to side, but this time lift the hips off the ground. So there's a space between your lower back and the mat. Now bring the knees up and over halfway to the left side, but keep the hips off the ground. So what you're doing is not only using the right side at the waist to lift the knees, you're using the right side of the waist to lift the hips off the ground. Now press the heels open. But don't straighten the knees. You want to use the, these obliques. Pull the heels back into the hips. And hold. Draw the knees back into the chest. And let that tailbone, or the lower back, come back onto the floor. Find your breath. Inhale the knees in. Now let the tailbone off the ground. As you reach your legs up and over to the right side, try to keep the hips off the floor. Feel that intensity on the left side. Lift those heels out and open. Pull the heels back into the hips. Lift the knees back up to the chest. And lower that tailbone back to the floor. Draw the knees in, uh, turn the hands to the knees, draw them in and open, and just draw those circles. Now, hopefully, that made sense because it's very intense. It sort of covers a lot of admin work, uh, it sort of expedites that. Circle of stillness, draw the knees together. Open the feet, hip distance. We're just going to do a hip opener now. Lower the left foot to the floor, cross the right ankle over, press that hip open. Right hand between the legs, you interlace the fingers behind that left thigh, relax that lower left leg and flex the right foot. Now draw the knees to the chest. Now this should probably take the tailbone off the ground as well, but you're using your arms to lift this. Not the same. Inhale, now exhale, roll towards your left side and bring the legs as close to the chest as you can. Once you do that, start to imagine that you're trying to reach the hips down to the ground. So that's gonna open that hip a little bit deeper because you're pulling the hips away from the legs. Roll back, relax that left foot, breathe the right leg up just to release that hamstring. And, <clears throat> excuse me, relax that knee, only the fingers, and cross that ankle. Left ankle over the right side, press that hip open. Left hand between the leg, reverse the, four, the index fingers behind that right thigh. 
Now flex that left foot. So the legs a little closer. Now start to roll towards your right side. Uh, bring those legs closer and closer. Feel that opening through that hip. And slowly roll back. Now you can relax that left foot. Breathe the right leg up, flex the heel, and pull the leg up out of the hip. Mm -hmm. And relax that knee. Unlace the fingers as you carefully uncross that left ankle. Draw the knees up, hands to them. And one, another, not the last time. Let's just say another time, rotate your knees. And draw them together. Oh, draw the knees together. Open the feet. Knees hip distance. Place the feet flat to the floor. As we briefly run through our bridge, just to open the front of the body, the heart open, the front of the hips. Tuck the tailbone under. Now that tailbone, your tailbone has a string attached to the back of the knees. That string is shortening, so nothing moves. You just, you just in the shape of your lower back. Lift one shoulder, fall by the next. Interlace the fingers. Press up. Reverse the interlacing. <laughs> That's kind of cheesy but you know now you've done it both ways release the hands to the floor press up with those hips lead with the tailbone just find your breath i was feel the back of the body lifting inhale up higher and hold inhale lift higher and hold inhale higher never thought we could get so high in bridge huh Lift higher. Lift that tailbone another inch. Now press up to the toes and hold. Lower those heels back to the floor. Walk the shoulders back and slowly roll down. Draw the knees to chest, place the hands to these. Now, last time, open the knees and draw those circles. Circling the stills, couple circles with the toes. Circle the stills, place the elbows inside the knees, hands the ankles, feet of the two fingers on the big toes. Pull the heels over the knees. Pull the back of the shoulders to the ground. Pull the belly button into the spine. Pull that right knee to the floor as you reach out to that left heel. And bend that knee and release to that opposite heel. And just reach through both heels. Then come back into both knees, bent. Draw the feet together, release the toes, draw the knees together, open the arms, shoulder height. Lower your legs to the right side, pull them tightly to the chest as you lay your Right hand over your left thigh. Look over that left shoulder. Release that right hand. Take your gaze to the sky. Slowly draw the knees in and up. And then lift your legs up and over to the left side. Lay that left hand over the right thigh as you look over that shoulder. Mm -hmm. Release that hand and slowly draw the knees in and up. Place the hands to the shins. Inhale, pull the forehead to the knees. Just reach to that upper back. Inhale and exhale, slowly roll down. And just place one foot to the floor, fall by the next as you close your eyes. Taking these last moments as we find this place in Shavasana. There in your mind as you restore your energy, allowing you to process your journey.
Begin to slowly draw your mind back to the moment, gently moving your awareness to your breath. Just feel yourself come back into your body. You can place your hand over your heart into your belly button. You just reach your arms up overhead. You open the chest, the spine, and release them just carefully. Roll onto your right side. Just keep your eyes closed as you make your way up into a comfortably seated or kneeling position. When you find this place, just draw your awareness back to your breath. And as you listen, just feel the rewards for this time that you've taken for yourself. Just breathe in gratitude for the fulfillment of any intentions that you may have placed on this path. As we complete our journey with peace in our thoughts, peace in our words, or peace in our heart, honoring one another, reciting namaste, namaste, and moving when you're ready. Thank you, everybody.